Have you ever gone to an audiologist and had hot or cold air or hot or cold water placed inside your ear, sprayed against your eardrum for a prolonged period of time and you wondered why it made you really, really dizzy and what was the point of that test? Well, I'm here to explain. My name is Amy. I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness and balance problems. And many of my patients have had this test done. It's called caloric testing. So caloric testing is done typically by audiologists. The purpose of a caloric test is to test the functionality of your inner ears. Your inner ears are located inside your skull, past your eardrum and past your middle ear, and they are the part of your ear that is important for balance and sensing motion of your head. So why do they put hot or cold air or water in your ears and why do they make you wear these funny little goggles? Whether they use water or air depends on the equipment that the clinic has and the preferences of the audiologist. However, you can use either air or water and get the same result. The warm liquid or air stimulates the vestibular equipment in your ear and the cold will inhibit. The goggles can watch and measure the movement of your eyes to see if you are responding to that stimulus. The goggles are looking for nystagmus, which means repetitive eye movements. And what you need to know about repetitive eye movements is if your eyes are beating quickly in one direction, your inner ear is telling your brain that your head is moving in that direction. So it directly relates to impulses from the inner ear. So when you're sitting or laying still on an examination table, you should feel like you're still and your eyes should be facing forward. But when they introduce warm air into one ear, let's say the right ear, it will warm up and stimulate that right ear, making you feel like you're turning to the right, especially with the goggles, because you will be staring into a black abyss in those goggles, but they will be watching your eyes beat to the right side. Now, conversely, if they put cold air in your right ear, it will slow down the impulses of the right ear, making the left ear seem more active because they have a resting potential of about 90 pulses per second when they're not messed with, a healthy ear does anyway. So if the cold air goes into the right ear, the left ear will stay at 90 pulses per second and make you feel like you're beating to the left or spinning to the left and your eyes will start to beat to the left. And in fact, it is normal during this test to feel spinning. After the test is complete, the audiologist sends a report to your doctor about whether your ears were able to be stimulated or inhibited appropriately and whether they are symmetrical. This test is really to diagnose general hypo or hyper function of the ear nerves. This test can also feel really traumatic because it makes you feel spinning, but rest assured, if you feel spinning during this test, it means that your ear equipment is normal. In fact, I had this test performed on my healthy ears while I was learning about all this stuff by my fellow audiologists, and it made me feel spinning. So it is normal if you felt spinning during this test. 